The Business Fundamentals Bikes Simulation is designed for an introductory course in business. It introduces the participant to the basic concepts of business. The decision content includes marketing, sales, product development, human resource management, as well as the fundamentals of finance, accounting, and operations. The game is set for four quarters or decision rounds, with each round taking 30 to 60 minutes per player to complete. You will start a new firm, which will enter the carbon fiber bicycle industry. The firm will be introducing a new line of bicycles into four international markets. Your goal is to build a profitable company. There are three market segments to serve in the bicycle market. Each segment has different needs and requires a different marketing strategy to appeal to it. In order to provide the seed capital, your executive team will invest money in your own firm by selling stocks to yourselves. You will invest $1.5 million in the first quarter and then another $500,000 in each of the next two quarters. The balance scorecard is the most important measure of your firm's total performance. It evaluates your performance in all areas of business to produce a total score. You will be able to watch your score throughout the exercise. You will need to analyze the initial market research data. You will review the customer needs for each segment, ranked in terms of their importance. Additional information will tell you how the customers will use their bicycles, what price they are willing to pay, what the market potential and media preferences are for each segment. You will also learn about the typical workers' compensation plans in the industry. After you have analyzed the market research, you will need to decide on your initial market strategy. Part of this strategy will be to select your primary and secondary target segments. You will design a product for each of your target segments. The design process will include naming your product and selecting its features from the list of available components. You will be able to design several ads and link them with specific brands or use them to advertise for the company as a whole. The ad design process will include naming the ad and selecting which benefits will be mentioned and ranking their importance. You will then indicate how many times you want your ads to appear in the media during the quarter. You will also be able to run internet marketing ad campaigns to invest in social media marketing. The next step will be to price your products. You may also offer a rebate to entice price-conscious customers. Entering a sales priority will tell your sales staff which brand should have the most selling emphasis. You will specify which stores you wish to open. You will start with one office and then expand in the future. Note both the setup cost and the lease cost associated with each location. You will hire salespeople for your stores. Be aware of the annual compensation per salesperson in each city. You can also train some of your salespeople to focus on a specific segment or service support. The extra training cost is listed in the table. You will decide on the compensation plans for your employees. The report lists the typical sales force compensation package for all bicycle firms. The productivity of your salespeople will be affected by how well your compensation package compares to your competitors and the norm for the bicycle industry. You will decide how much to pay your salespeople and what kind of benefits they will receive. You will be adjusting this decision in the future as you compete with the compensation plans of other firms in the market. You will set up a production facility and specify its initial capacity in units per day. You will be able to increase this capacity in the future. Pay attention to the capital investment necessary for each increase in capacity. You will forecast your demand and set the operating capacity for your production facility. By setting the operating capacity, you decide what portion of the fixed production capacity to use. This will determine how many workers to hire and for how long to operate your 3D printers during each workday. You will decide which brand should be produced during the current quarter. 
the production simulation tool will allow you to estimate production costs, lost sales, and production efficiencies based on different demand estimates. As you run different demand scenarios, you will be able to analyze their impact in the pro forma accounting statements. As you make your business decisions, the expenses or investments will be posted to the appropriate accounting ledger and your cash flow statement, income statement, and balance sheet will be adjusted accordingly. You will be able to prepare the financial projections for your company. These pro forma accounting statements will reflect all of your expenses and projected revenues during the current quarter. After each decision period, you will review your cash flow, income statement, and balance sheet. These statements allow you to watch your cash positions, profits, debt, and assets. Throughout the exercise, you will receive an assortment of feedback information for your firm to review. You will find out how customers reacted to your marketing activities, as well as those of your competitors. You will see how your decisions have affected your firm financially. You will also learn about the strategic and tactical decisions of your competitors. You will receive detailed market demand and market share reports. You can review the information about your demand, revenues, and lost sales. This information is broken out by brand. A similar report will help you analyze the brand profitability. You will receive detailed feedback about the quality of your marketing decisions. The brand judgment measures how much a market segment likes the designs of each brand on a scale from 0 to 100. The ad judgment will help you analyze the quality of your ad designs. The price judgment will tell you how satisfied customers were with the price of each brand on the market. You will also be able to review the activity and costs of your production line. Additional information that you receive with the results will include details about your competitor's demand, brand designs, prices, ad campaigns, production capacity, sales office locations, sales force decisions, compensation plans, and a host of financial industry ratios. In the course of the exercise, you will continually analyze your results and improve your strategy and tactics. You will expand your brand assortment and enter into new markets with the goal of increasing your market share and profits. The decision content will be gradually expanded as the simulation progresses. After the last decision round, you will be presented with your final performance score. The score will be based on the cumulative balance scorecard from the last quarter of play.